A rectangular array creates copies that are placed in a rectangular fashion. Any of the types of designs can be used to create an array. Crystals, cutwork, painted, or even embroidery designs. After selecting the object and choosing rectangular array in the toolbar, select your desired options in tool options. I can change the horizontal copies, the vertical copies, the horizontal spacing, and the vertical spacing. Press Enter to preview the change. The software does automatically remember the previous settings when you last used Array, but these can be changed. If Clone Objects is selected, copies of the objects will be cloned and can be reshaped by reshaping just one of the objects. Let's look at the control handles of the preview in the array. The handle that appears on the original object is used to move the array. The handle on the far right of the objects can be used to rotate the array. The handles that appear on all objects other than the original can be used to change the horizontal or the vertical position. If you hold down the control key while moving the objects, the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing is kept the same. So you can use tool options to change the array mathematically and then the control handles to change the array visually. There are some additional ways to edit the array before it is applied. If I hold the shift key and click on the control handle of an object other than the original and drag to the right or down, I can add copies to the array. Dragging up and to the left will remove copies from the array. In addition, I can drag diagonally to add copies in both directions or drag diagonally to remove copies in both directions. If you wish to change the orientation of the copies, you can rest your mouse on any of the control points and two other handles will appear. There is a rotate and there is a mirror. If I click on rotate, every other object will rotate in the array. I can continue to click on rotate until the objects get back to the original position. For a shape that can be mirrored, if you click on the mirror symbol, every other object will be mirrored. Click on Apply Rectangular Array to set the array or click on Select Another Shape if you wish to start over. Once the array is applied, you can deselect and select one of the objects and click on Edit Shape Nodes. If I make a change to this object, all other objects will adapt since Clone Objects was checked in Tool Options.